Today I want to show you guys my process on how I color grade in CapCut and this is like a little short clip that I made as a promotional video for one of my unreleased songs. Just want to take you guys through the process of how I make the colors pop out using the camera I used to record which is a Sony Alpha ZV E10. But this method also works for iPhone users depending on the type of iPhone and the lighting of the space and everything you have going on within the video. But yes, I remain your boy Hassan producer. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a subscribe so I keep making amazing videos like this without wasting much time let's get into the video so here we are in CapCut one of the best applications in the world that uh, I've been using for quite some time for you to bring your videos in all you need to do is you click on this little import here then you find where the videos are for me I've already kept the video on my desktop and this is the audio so I import it into my CapCut now this is where the main work begins here inside of CapCut. This is absolutely free. It's not a paid app, so anything is possible. So what I'm going to do is we'll drag the video. This is the video that I shot, and it's for my own release called Sakwade. It's not out yet, but hopefully I release it in my EP. Now you see, what the main issue normally is for people that don't really know how to edit is they find it hard to synchronize the audio and the video. So for you to synchronize the audio and the video, this is what you are going to do. You are going to make sure you mark this one and the audio. Then you right click and you are going to see this part called sync video to sound. And once you click it, you wait and then boom, this is it. Let's hear what it sounds like. Okay. So here we have it. It's together now. So what you do next is you make sure you take the volume of this one down and then you leave this other audio up so it doesn't clash and sound a little bit distorted. So here what we do is we come here and then you can see at this part of the editor you have a little icon here where you can cut and do some other amazing stuff. So we click on the... So for your cap cut you can come here and customize your shortcuts. For me, I turned my split to C because I'm a Premiere Pro. I was a Premiere Pro user, so I had to just customize it the way I like. So we press C to take this one out, then we can delete. Okay, sorry. So in order not to get your video all messed up, you can turn this guy off. This is called the main track magnet. So you turn, your, turn off your main track magnet, and then you can delete, pressing delete, delete button on your keyboard. Then you fill in this space. Now here we go all crisp and looking great. So for this video, I want it to be one minute long on the dots. Now you can see the time here is 1 minute 23. I can just adjust it and take it to one minute. Yeah, so we are one minute um, into the video. I can mark it and then split. This is the split icon here. So I can delete this one. So here we have our one minute clip, all looking great. So big shout out to my dog blue. That's my dog blue right there. <laughs> my little pup. All right, so. All right, so this video was shot on S-Log. That's the raw footage in my camera. And for me to color correct it, all I need to do is just click here and go to the adjustment side. So for most of you that use CapCut, there's one thing you don't know. It's that CapCut have brought a lot of new features that supports and makes making um, content creation and vi visual storytelling very easy. So with CapCut now, you can color correct and make your videos look much more better than before. So for my steps on adjustment, what I do is I make sure that the saturation is increased a little and for this video, since I used a lamp in front of me and the lamp is a little bit red, I will, I will not increase the redness too much. Mind you, I'm not a full professional in this, but I've learned some little stuff that can help you out. So I'm just making this video to show you guys some tips. So for the brightness, I can drop it down a little just to bring out the shadows. Then I can increase the contrast a little and then let's play it and see. All right, so it's looking too red. I can take the redness down a little and play with the contrast here. Then for the highlights, I can reduce some of the highlights just to make it sharp here. Okay. 
All right, so it's looking a little bit clean, so I can play around with the shadows. Since the video is a little bit dark, I can choose to reduce or increase the shadows, but normally I just take it down by a little bit um, by minus three or four to give it a cinematic feel. Then you can see the video is popping out already. Now, when you go down, there's white, which because of the dog and my little paper, uh, my little book, I can increase the whites a little. Uh -huh, just to make it pop then for the blacks sometimes i decide not to touch the blacks i can just increase uh, i can just reduce it a little to make it sharp but for this video it's looking dark already so i wouldn't do that and now for the illumination so this is what it does it just increases the video um colors and make it illuminate more than the way it was so just like to brighten it up and just give it a little feel of lighting so this is it. All right. So most times what I do just to get like more quality from the video is I increase the sharpness a little to like, let's say 10. And then the clarity just increase it a little by five. Then I can add a little green just to make it look like, um, just to make it have this film look. So this is how it's looking so far. Yeah. Alright. So I don't touch the fade, I don't touch the vignette, I just leave that one alone. So with our color correction now, we have something going on. And for some of you that are professionals, I know that you might say, okay, you know what, something's not right about this video. Like I said, I am not a full professional. I'm just trying to like make the video look clean and make it presentable. Now for this video, I'm going to be using um, an LUT that I've used for a quite a lot of videos to make it look sharp and clean. And by the end of this video, I'll be dropping it for you guys to download and use. So in your videos, if you have anything you want to do, you can use this, LF, this LUT to make your videos more sharper and vibrant. So here, I can add this. Now, don't be scared. It looks cranky and crazy and a little bit too concentrated. But the moment you drop it a little... Yeah, so let's take it to like 10 and then I come to my clip here and probably just take the saturation down to zero. I can increase it for the whole of the video. All right. So here we can still play around with some of the highlights, like the highlights here. I can take it down a little, then the contrast. I can stick it backwards, then increase this guy and see what it looks like. All right, so I like the way it's looking and so far it's getting what it needs and what it deserves. Now, to make this video much more fun and like engaging and stuff, there's what we call keyframes. So, but let me just show you guys the um, difference between how it was before and how it is now. So we'll take this one out. I don't know, for some reason, like you might not see all the difference and stuff, but let me show you how it looks like. So it's way better than the way it was before and it's looking a little bit. So let me show you guys the old clip. This is the old clip, it's looking white and pale since I shot it on S-Log. And then this is the new clip has more details and highlights i just wanted to have this redness in it just to make it look a little bit um cinematic now for this video i can decide to put auto captions to get like lyrics coming out and popping off at different zooms but before i do that what i really like to do is i prefer cutting it and getting this in in zoom and out zoom something like this let's say so the next sakba I can now decide to just cut it. So the next sakba now I can just cut it here. And what I'm doing is basically just going in. Let's say um so once I come to this basic side, I can scale it in. So that way, once it reaches this part, see, it can go forward. 
Yeah, so all these little um, ins and outs play a huge role. So here, yeah, another sapper here, I can cut it. Since it's a one shot, like one straight shot, you need to make it much more interesting. So the next part, I can look at the wave here. So the secret is just look at the wave and see how um, how it's related to the cuts. I cut again. So I cut here. So I can go forward here. I can cut here. So basically what, what I can do is, um, just like I brought this one in, I can go forward and bring this one in. But instead of bringing it in, I can make it fun by creating keyframes. So what I mean by keyframe is like just a slow zoom effect. I can click on this scale at the beginning of this part, then move forward and create another keyframe. Then I can zoom it in. So this is what happens. Once I play that part, look, it goes forward little by little. Then I can switch. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. If you really enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like and share this video. Drop in the comment what I should make next because I'm a short plug. I'll be making more amazing stuff for you guys. Let's get it. Keep creating and keep winning. The world is yours.